こんにちは皆さん。私はウ先生です。今日は折り紙をしましょう。So today we're going to talk about 折り紙 which is the Japanese art of paper folding. The word origami comes from two different Japanese words. The first one being oru, and that means to fold. The second part of origami comes from the word kami, which means paper. Traditionally, origami only uses folds in the paper and no cuts. Origami first came to Japan when the Chinese brought paper over. And it was traditionally considered an art for wealthy people or elite people because paper was very expensive. There's lots of different types of origami books that you can find, and they range from pretty simple stuff to more advanced. Today, the origami that we're going to make together is a paper crane. When you fold a thousand paper cranes and you put them all together, this is called a simbazuru. And a Japanese legend says that when you fold a thousand cranes, then you will be granted a wish of your choice. So, there are also different types of origami paper that you can buy.、Um, some of them actually come in kits to create Senbazuru, and they're very small because you're gonna have a lot of cranes connected together. Or you can find the bigger origami paper, which is usually the same size.、Um, it says here 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters, which is about six inches by six inches. So, these are a few of the origami papers that I got while I was in Japan. But you can also find these in craft stores. A lot of the designs are based on traditional kimono patterns. But you can also find、uh, sort of newer designs with pictures like these. If you can't find traditional origami paper, that is okay. You can actually create your own origami paper. And you can use just any old sheet of paper that you have. And basically, you want to create it into a square, a perfect square. And the easiest way to do that is to fold it, and then we'll cut it. So, you're going to take the corner of your paper across so that the edge matches up. Make sure the corner is nice and even, and then press it down. Now you see we have some excess paper over here on the side. We're going to cut that off, or you could fold it both directions and tear it off if you don't have any scissors. So if you unfold that, you see now we have a nice square, and we can use that to make our origami. So let's get into making our paper crane. I'm going to use this nice sushi paper today so it kind of stands out against the background. Also, the back side is plain, so whenever you see that plain side, you know it's the, the side that's going to end up on the inside of your bird, so you won't see it on the outside. Usually, when you see an origami book or instructions, it'll have the colored side be the side that has the pattern. So, we're gonna follow along with this instruction here. We need to start by making a bird base with our paper. So, we're gonna take our paper and fold it one corner to the other corner. And if you have fingernails or you have like a, a ruler or something to really make a sharp crease, that usually helps your origami become really nice in the end. So, step two, we're going to fold 
again, corner to corner from our triangle. Now we're going to open up the a corner so that it makes sort of a little square shape. Actually, I think it wants us to make a pre-fold first, so let's do that. And fold the other direction. It makes it a lot easier to fold when you sort of pre-fold things. All right, so now we're going to take it like this and open it up. It sort of looks like a square now. And then we're gonna turn it over to the other side. And looks like we're doing the same thing here. So kind of pre-fold and then open up our triangle so that it makes a square shape. Do the best you can here. Your first one usually is not gonna come out looking super pretty, but that's all right. It takes some practice. So now we have our nice sort of box shape or diamond shape and the opening of the paper is to the bottom. So the second part here, we're going to keep that opening at the bottom. We're gonna fold the bottom corner so that this edge comes to meet the middle fold. And same thing with the other side. All right, and it looks like we do the other side as well. So let's flip it over. Taking from that bottom corner and folding the edge into the center. So now we have a little kite shape. So now we're gonna unfold all of these. I know, origami has a lot of pre-folds, so it feels like you're undoing all your work, but it makes it a lot easier for the next step. So now we're going to take our bottom corner and we're gonna do another pre-fold here, um, but we're basically going to open it up so that it makes this large kind of diamond shape. Let's do that pre-fold first. So basically you're gonna have two folds here already where those meet the edge. You're going to fold it down so that it's flat, like a line straight across. And the other direction. and then unfold. So this is gonna make this step a lot easier. So we open up here, kind of hold down this bottom section, and then press in the two edges. You may have to manipulate it a little bit here to get it to lay nice and flat. And like so. So now we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so there is our bird base. So moving on to our specific crane directions, we're going to start with this bird base. And we're going to again fold these bottom sections. I'm going to take it from the bottom corner and bring this outside edge to the middle. Make a nice crease. And same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna flip it and do the same thing here. So 
So now we basically have the main part of our bird. You may just not recognize it yet. Um, so you're gonna see that we've basically made the legs, or I guess it's more like the tail and the neck right here, and we're going to fold it to the outside. So we're gonna take it and open up this sort of leggy portion here, or neck, and we're sort of flipping it inside out. So see how the fold is going this direction? We're gonna press it the other direction. And then just press it down like that. And same thing on the other side. So next, we're going to fold the head. Uh, we're basically doing that same fold we just did, except in the opposite direction. So we're going to open up that fold here where you want it to start and reverse it. Pressing it down. And now you have its little beak. At this point, you can see it's kind of a flat bird. So we're gonna open it up and make it a little bit more 3D. So you can take the wings Pull them apart. And if you like, you can sort of press down that middle section so that it becomes like a box or like a square. And there you have it. Here's our crane. Just 999 to go. I hope you enjoyed doing origami today with me. If you have any questions or you have any other origami that you want to make together, please let me know. Ja, kyou wa yoku dekimashita. Arigatou minasan. Sayonara.